Hello everyone, this is Stan. I'd like to talk a little bit about the newest version of Brass Marker that I just finished. Um, the previous model came out a few years ago. I actually designed this for a friend uh, who was trying to come up with a way, find some way to mark his ammunition um, other than a, a more hand-by-hand -hand manual kind of marking uh, that he was doing at the time. So I put some thought into it and came up with this for, uh, mainly for him. Uh, made a video of it. Uh, didn't realize folks were going to be that interested in it. But anyway, a uh, few years down the road, uh, uh, made what I think is some better upgrades to it. In the original one, I had these different size cog wheels that... Um, could be used for different size ammunition. Uh, in his case, he was using a 45 caliber. So I designed this cog wheel to run his 45 uh, caliber uh, ammunition to mark. And subsequently, after that, you know, I did a nine millimeter and did a 223 size cog. Now, those cogs could also hold other size ammunition if they were pretty close to that size. But, you know, but you would have to change this cog out if you wanted to, to run something different. Uh, you'd have to take off this top here and loosen the set screw, pull this wheel out, put another one on. Which is not hard to do, but I just felt like that I really needed to come up with a better way to, to do that. Um, this one also had this hopper on here which is pretty pretty cool to watch it uh, you would you would feed your ammunition in here and then stack it in this hopper and then when you turned it on they would just continually drop down and load into the into the cog and and mark them and spit them out on the bottom here uh, which was cool that was a pretty novel thing um, but I think most folks don't use that I think they just manually feed them in so in this new design I traded this hopper for a better design and more versatility in ammunition size. So by changing to this V design, so it will accommodate uh, any size ammunition from 0.35 inches all the way up to 0.51 inches in diameter. Now that's at its widest point. Uh, whether it's the charge in here or whether it's the casing itself. 0.51 inches is the max uh, that it can uh, that it can handle. And as far as the length, if the casing size is about two and a quarter inches and doesn't go beyond that, uh, it will handle casings up to that length as well. So when I speak of casing length, um, it's just that. Uh, what I'm talking about is the length of the case itself uh, before it necks down. Uh, in this case, this one's about one and a half inches long. Uh, so anything up to about two and a quarter inches long uh, would be fine. Um, it would stick out of the. It would stick out past the top of the skirt some, but that's okay as long as the bulk of the casing is down inside of it it shouldn't be a problem at all so anything up to about two and a quarter inches long as far as the casing length should be okay but I don't have anything that long to try this one would be too short to put in this way but if you flip it over as you'll see in the video uh, it will mark it fine back here uh, but anyway just a little discussion about that, but uh, you'll see here in just a second uh, how it marks the various different uh, sizes of ammunition. Uh, there'll be a link below to the, the previous video that I did uh, for this one and also to my uh, website. Thanks for watching.